Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, what's going on out there? Feels like there's a snap attack. I've just um, googled the lyrics to snap, the power. Maybe there's a bit of a power um, struggle going on here. I'll read some of the lyrics. Like the crack of the whip, I snap attack. Front to back in this thing called rap. Dig it like a symbol, rhyme devil on the heavenly level. Bang the bass, turn up the treble. Radical mind, day and night all the time. 7.14am, wise, divine. Maniac, brainiac, winning the game. I'm the lyrical of Jesse James. So this bit, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. Okay. And it repeats that four times. I've got the power. You could break my heart. You could break my heart apart. You could break my heart. You could break my heart apart. I've got the power. Power, power. I've got the power. You could break my heart. You could break my heart. I've got the power. It, now it changes to it's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. Four times. Quality I possess. Some say I'm fresh when my voice goes through the mesh of the microphone the time holding copy written lyrics so they can't be stolen if they are snap don't need the police to try to save them your voice will cease so peace stay off my back or i will attack and you don't want that then it's i've got the power 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 you could break my heart 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 i've got the power okay. So it kind of swaps from you've got the power to I've got the power. No, it doesn't say you've got the power. It's both people saying they've got the power. Anyway, it's like, what the fuck's going on? Um, I've spoken to a couple of people today and very much in their masculine energy, dominant masculine energy, and it makes me have to handle them with, like, blending in my masculine energy. <laughs> What's going on? We've got some cards. Let's have a look at this energy today. We've got tea towel on my lap again. Mm. <laughs> oh, I know why the tea towel on my lap. Because I thought, not my microphone, but when I turned the camera on, it felt like my laptop was going to be dying on me soon. It, I was very, the picture, the image was very fuzzy. So I polished the lens. It seems to be alright. I'll leave that on my lap anyway. You're being helped. So polish up your act. You're being helped. It's been harsh energies today. I feel like I've had to be quite stern today. Do some like telling off. It's like if you've come here for a telling off. Good. I'm in the mood. <laughs> I've got to get into my feminine energy. Okay. Oh. How do we handle you? Positive energy. Friendship. A new dawn. Treasure. Tre treasure. <laughs> treasure chest. And rest. My heart's beating really fast. What's going on? Positive energy. You need a dose of positive energy. You need a friend at this time. You've got a friend in me. you got a friend in me. You need to make a decision. Okay, a new dawn, treasure chest, rest. This energy can come in from it from yesterday. It's a new dawn today. So we're through the 11-11 portal. It's time now for one, to be your own best friend. For two, to choose whether or not you're going to embrace optimism or pessimism. That's where the treasure's found. Now rest. Okay? This is the energy of take it easy on yourself. Okay? It's been a journey. It's been a journey. It still is a journey. But you're through this. Okay. So let's read these cards. P positive energy. There's a collective here that needs uplifting. Optimism. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. 
you have to surround yourself with positive people and situations and make sure you avoid the negativity. There's a collective here, a dolphin's coming in. Can you see the treasure? Let me just have a look myself. I'm not sure where that's coming from. It's like you're over this tsunami. I feel we've all just come through a really big test. And it's not quite over yet. But you're going to handle things positively now. Positive energy. Friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more friends. Definitely again for the feminine's energy is what I'm feeling all through this reading. Okay. Also, um, let's pretend. Let's pretend without a friend, like physically being with you. When I said about being your own best friend. So it's time to make believe. The land of make believe. That starts today. If you choose that, because the bottom of the deck was indecision. The bottom of the deck is make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. Happy or sad? Mm. What's good or bad with that? What one's good and what one's bad for you? Being sad's happy, isn't it? You're actually coming into the season where some would say that that was a syndrome. Being sad. Co-star sent me a um, my day at a glance today, which I thought was really a good one. Um, just because you aren't happy doesn't mean you are broken. Oh, we're going to go into song now. Morning has broken like the first morning. Lucy has spoken. I'm just fucking with you. Like the first word. <laughs> I'm a little bit serious. Come on, I am today. Right, that's how you unlock the treasure. So let's look at this new dawn. The worst is now behind you. And positive new experiences are on the horizon. We're going to read this card. Because you can't quite see them, but you can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Watch the video to that. I'll attach it in the description box. Do you guys watch what I attach into the description box? Okay. This is the energy I'm in today. I'll, I'll pull you up. <laughs> Might help. Watch for the signs in that video. Can you feel it? You've endured storms over rough seas. But now the way is clear and smooth. You've been hit by, ch -ch. you've been struck by, ch a smooth criminal. It's one of my favourite Chaco songs. Okay, one of the first songs I purchased on vinyl. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. <clears throat> Wash away the negativity from your consciousness and past memories and keep only the positive lessons and love. Don't hang on to anything that could weigh you down such as resentment or bitterness. Let it go. If you've gone through patterns of negativity in the past, this is the time to affirm, I now release the need to experience this life lesson. I extract whatever teachings I need to discover and I move onto a life of harmonious and peaceful actions. By pulling this card, you've turned a corner in your life, wherein your prayers and positive thoughts are delivering new rays of divine light to illuminate your present and future. And that was the card of the new dawn. Should we go to the treasure now? Treasure, that is what you are. Okay, are we going to read this card? Let's read about the treasure.
Your prayers for financial support have been heard and assistance is here for you now. It comes in wonderfully unexpected ways. No need to worry. Remain in a state of gratitude that says that the money is already here, even if there's no visible evidence of it yet. Let's pretend. Without the spend. When you feel grateful before the demonstration of supply occurs, it reveals your faith. And your faith is the energy, let's repeat that, your faith is the energy that draws riches to you without delay. Affirm frequently, thank you for all of the support, supply, abundance and money that you bring to me. I am grateful for these riches which I use in divine ways to bring blessings to the earth. Divine feminines, it's time to call in your inheritance, your abundance. Your supply may show up in the form of money or it may come as new opportunities, brilliant ideas or gifts from others. The Divine Feminine Energy is very receptive to these gifts. It's time for you to receive your payment. You've been working, really, without being paid. Okay, it's payday. Your supply may show up in the form of money or it may come as new opportunities, brilliant ideas or gifts from others. Bless and honour heaven's gifts however they come to you. Your gratitude ensures continual overflowing abundance in your life. Your gratitude ensures the continual overflowing abundance in your life. Now that you know, you can just rest and be at peace. And I'm singing, little donkey, carry Mary safely on her way. Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Okay, good things are coming. Good things are here. Should we read about the Maker Decision? Bring me sunshine, all the one. Mm -mm. Bring me laughter, all the smile. Mm -mm. Sometimes life feels as if it's at an impasse while we wait. Oh, okay. While we await, await, while we await heaven's next instruction. By drawing this card, however, heaven, heaven asks, what do you want? Sometimes the universe asks us to be the decision maker, and this is one of those times. Instead of passively allowing life to push you around like a canoe without oars, your counsel to take charge and set your own course. Know that heaven gives you all of the resources you need to pull yourself out of any situation as long as you make a firm and clear decision. Your decisiveness is the catalyst for heaven to clear the way for your manifestation. Let go of all fears or worries and focus only on the destination you intend to reach. Enjoy the journey along your way. Along your way, along the way. Whoop, it's gone bright. Bright eyes. Okay. We're very musical today, aren't we? Your decisiveness is the catalyst for heaven to clear the way for your manifestation. Let go of all fears, all worries, and focus only on the destination you intend to reach. Enjoy the journey along the way. It's a brilliant message, isn't it? I've only touched... The mermaids and dolphins. Touch the hearts of the mermaids and dolphins. Let's have a look at the journey of love.
Guardian of the Soul Family. Okay. Can we dim the lights a little bit, please? You are being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you are leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. They're saying basically no dimming of lights today, not for you. So you are being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual world. If you feel you are leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seemed to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. There is a great soul love calling you into more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfil. There is love that you are to experience in connection with particular souls, predetermined by the divine plan. If you are struggling to feel the soul purpose in your current relationships, take heart, for you are being helped by divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing, whether that means improved communication and enhanced experience, or the realisation that you have travelled as far as you can together and know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life and open your heart to the guardians who help you with unconditional love now. The oracle, the oracle, the guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place. In present relationships unfolding, in attracting the right relationships for your future growth, and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved. All is well. Here's the poem. When I open my heart, you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all as we become more than we are alone. I'm going to delve a little bit more into this. Let's go to, I fancy reading the story. <laughs> um, so I feel drawn to go to the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. This is the card I saw in my mind's eye. That's why I wanted to draw it because I felt it was um, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. It's regarding their destiny. I wanted a story. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about black and white. Together we are stronger than alone. And it was the... The last, it was the poem. When I open my heart, you cover me with blankets of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all as we become more than we are alone. And it took me to this card, which rarely does this card come out. Destiny, black and white. Together we are stronger than alone. The legend. Black and white are in heaven, waiting to go back to earth yet again to complete their work. When they meet and fall in love, they learn that they will not be together on earth. In previous lives, their love was ill-fated. They appeal to the council of great spirits who turn down their request to be together. 
But the great servant appears and grants their wish. Together they could accomplish greater things than they could have done alone. So the inspiration of this card, take a risk. Dare to have your life the way you decide. Are you willing to make sacrifices to have what you desire? The personal inquiry. What tools do I need to form my own destiny? Am I ready for my destiny? Key ideas, true love, taking a stand, a positive omen, radical thinking, deep satisfaction and the ability to change. And the key words is love, pathway and faith. The meditation. Recall the time when you fought for something you believed in and won. Allow the feeling of triumph to filter through your body. See yourself before the council of great spirits. Make a request. They will grant it if it's for the highest good of all. They tell you their decision. Thank the spirits for their wise counsel. Relax in knowing that the council will confer with great servant for you and you are welcome to go before the council any time. Wow. The energy swapped, I felt like towards, well, probably about halfway through, I actually felt I was speaking to the Divine Masculine. Should we leave you with a roomy message? We just got an oracle reading today. And some sunshine. Who's the star of Venus, card number 26? Rather interesting seeing this, the card that came out of the journey of love is also card number 26. And both these decks are by Alana Fairchild. I'm being tickled. I feel, uh, <laughs> I feel tickled. I feel tickled. I am the pure light, my son. I am not a handful of worthless dust. I'm not just an empty shell. I am a regal pearl formed in this world. Close your eyes to see and become aware of me. Perceive me with eyes that see the unseen and come into the mystery to find me. I am a carefree visitor, here for you, through me. My beautiful one born of pure radiance, you have love in your heart and a passion for play that cannot be dulled by bleakness, boredom or fear. Your soul is sensual and dances with life, with utter abandonment and devotion. Though the ways of this world seem strange to you at times, you eventually declare it to be nothing but strange beauty and expand your heart, resisting nothing, to allow all to be bathed in the radiance of your being. You are here to share the light of another world, a blessed world of consciousness pure and divinity so absolute that it transcends duality and instead brings all into the oneness of the greatest love. The star of Venus is the great angiogyne, neither solely masculine nor feminine, but an integration of both. And I felt maybe the purpose, I don't know what I've looked like with the sunlight, but I felt like half my face was dark and the other was illuminated. The yin yang. The feminine, the masculine. The swapping the energy halfway through. The star of Venus is the great angiogyne, neither solely masculine nor feminine, but an integration of both. The power it bestows is mighty and based utterly in love. When this star seeks us out, 
multiple blessings are bestowed and our spiritual growth can be accelerated in ways that may be quite dazzling and surprising to our more limited mindset and belief systems. I've got like a little mu music box on my table. It's a Duplo Lego, so for young, young kids. And uh, it's Dora the Explorer. And I've just put batteries in it because I'm, uh, I don't need it anymore. So I'm getting rid of it. So I was cleaning it up and it wasn't working so I put some batteries in it. But there's one that goes on and um, for quite a while and I just wondered if it was different every time I... It's not. But it comes in with this and I'm tempted to push it. I will do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we've got a little music box here. And it's the one with the stars. <laughs> and I wondered, will I be playing... Do you want to listen to what it says? Okay, we'll push Dora, the first Dora. Let's see what the first Dora wants to say. Hola, I'm Dora. And then we got boots. Come on, Dora, let's go. We'll have some music. Come on, come on, everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Then we've got backpack. Then we've got Dora again. Help us stop Swiper. Help us stop Swiper. Next is Swiper. Oh man. oh, man. Now we come to this one. Okay. So, the Star of Venus is the great androgyne, neither solely masculine nor feminine, but an integration of both. The power it bestows is mighty and based utterly in love. When this star seeks us out, multiple blessings are bestowed and our spiritual growth can be accelerated in ways that may be quite dazzling and surprising to <clears throat> and surprising to our more limited mindset and belief systems. Let's push this one with the three stars on it. Let's go many stars we got. One, two, three, four, five, we caught 10 stars today. It took me to the 10 of cups energy. And then let's um, end with Diego. Thanks for helping. Gracias. Thanks for helping. Gracias. You're welcome. Lucy, let's carry on. So I'm playing with Lego at the moment. Okay, I'm going to be playing with Lego. I'm just cleaning it up first. Okay. With great blessings, great growth is possible. However, the blessings don't do the growth for us, making it magically happen. They give us the oomph we need, the power and the opportunities and assistance we need, yet it is still we who take the journey. The great spiritual journey for old souls at this time in Earth's history is the journey from duality to oneness, and many are signing up for that wild, loving adventure. This oracle has come to you as a reminder that you too have been granted a ticket for that jo for that that journey with Dora the Explorer, okay? <laughs> for that Dora journey, I think I was gonna say. Jeez, distracting, isn't it? Very much. This all course comes to you as a reminder that you too have been granted a ticket for that journey. This journey of oneness is not about denying duality, but about experiencing it as an expression of one love. It is about no longer being enslaved by it. It is about avoiding what is not wanted in order to pursue what is wanted. We go back to this card here then. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. This journey of oneness is not about denying duality, but about experiencing it as an expression of one love. It is about no longer being enslaved by it. It is about avoiding what is not wanted in order to pursue what is wanted. It is about embracing the all, of finding the freedom and joy originally sought, but now through a path that takes you into joy and freedom existing within. To take the great transformation from man or woman into cosmic androgyne does not require that we lose our sense of femininity or masculinity, rather they become so seer Rather, they become so superior in development that they cease to be distinguished from each other. Our masculine clarity, with its discernment, 
practicality and application become so tender, loving, compassionate and tempered with grace that the feminine is integrated with it. Our feminine nurturance, dedication and connection to life become so fierce that discernment and wise action naturally prevail. With this great androgynous integration of the masculine and feminine into oneness, men and women of this beautiful earth become capable of a new consciousness. It is one based in love, of service to life, <clears throat> of service to life, of letting go of judgments, stereotypes and limited belief systems and of opening up to compassion for all life. As the consciousness is anchored, spiritual growth becomes rapid and this is not necessarily without some bumps and bruises. Letting go of old notions of what it is to be a man or a woman, to be masculine or feminine, letting go of fear of women or men or emasculation or victimisation, letting go of wounding of all great steps forward. They promise liberation, empowerment and compassion as well as peace and happiness, yet they are not easy steps to take. Great resistance can be evoked within you as an individual and also within the culture around you which might find your notion of personal spiritual empowerment confronting and challenging to their culture of fear-based enslavement of the soul. They will be right about it being confronting, but mistaken in assuming that confrontation is something best resisted. So then what to do? Our Uzzah, the ancient shining one, also known as the star of Venus, holds much power and strength. Even a blessing, even a small blessing of her light is more powerful than the fear of thousands, if not millions of people. She is known as a worthy ally in battle of any kind, even spiritual battle. You must, however, stay aligned with her way, which is not to fight fear with fear, hate with hate, or anger with anger. Does this mean you should not feel fear, hate or anger? Of course not. The Venus... Venus denies no experience, so let yourself feel whatever you feel. The guidance is not to stop being human. Take the next step into the divine human, into allowing the star blessing to nestle in your heart so you can shift as you feel the feelings, holding them with compassion, then choosing your own truths that resonate at a far more refined vibration. The rebellious passion of the star of Venus is that she seeks out whomever is ready to know more fully the truth of divine oneness. Whether the culture around them can acknowledge one of their own becoming more enlightened as a blessing or not, it is a divine gift nevertheless. How liberating it shall feel to be truly empowered to live life as you feel is truthful and to feel completely empowered to allow others to do the same with joy in your heart. You understand that everyone is walking an unfolding path and that we don't have to understand or justify the path of another to feel peace in our own hearts. If you are stumbling with judgment within yourself, do not fear. The blessing of Venus is coming to you to help you surrender it, to help you find your way through so that you can be free now. Your guidance, then, is to trust your path. Trust your evolution, even in the face of those around you reacting to it, possibly in fear or discomfort. Trust in the path of others, too. For in truth, there is one path, and we are all on it. You do not have to convince anyone of anything. That is not your job. Your job is to embrace your wisdom, embrace your freedom, and empowerment to grow spiritually and live your life accordingly. You are becoming, through a bestowal of grace, something more of a goddess and a god, of a human and a sacred animal, integrated as one. And this is sacred alchemy, amplified in the starfires of Venus who love you as a brother-sister and honours your soul with her blessing. Shine true, shine true beloved. Shine bright. My eyes are extremely dark today.
I personally don't really like dark eyes. <laughs> I find them a bit scary. The only reason I say that is um, when I kind of speak to my daughter on Messenger, we always video. It's my eldest daughter, Megan. And um, we play around with the different filters. And she puts the one on when she's got black eyes. And I, and I go to her, I don't like that. I don't want you looking like that. And the, I kind of copied it. You can have the same one as them, but it wouldn't turn my eyes black. And when I looked at the camera, I thought my eyes are black today. And when she took a screenshot and she's like, Mum, I don't know why, but mine were not black. They were, I've got a screenshot. I think I've got a screenshot. Mm -hmm. um, let me have a look. <laughs> Just so you can see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying. Maybe I don't have the screenshot. Anyway, that's what it took me to. My eyes look a bit black. And, um, oh, that actually takes me to, I was um, sick early on. And it, it felt like I was just being sick, all this horrible, toxic stuff. And I felt there's been a clearing. So it feels like we need to get that kind of darkness. Um, the masculine, I feel, energy needs to be tempered by the feminine. Okay, now that you know, okay, hopefully you know what to do. I'm off. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, happy Friday. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.